What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory Update 6, episode 27, if I'm counting right. Should be 27, yeah. Uh, this episode we're gonna try to see if we have enough stuff to get the trains unlocked or something else. I uh, haven't really looked at anything. For the trains we just need the computers i think we can actually get trains on up this episode so let's put that up for the goal for this episode uh oh it was a bit dark i'm gonna run and see how much computers we have we should have enough heavy modular frames and the remaining of the other stuff so let me just go Check on the production of computers, which is the one that's a bit not that optimized. And see where we are with that. Yeah, we have computers. Nice. So let's go drop these computers in the... Oh god, I got stuck there. Go drop these. Save hey, lag. Hit it. I'm gonna drop these computers into the uh, hub and we're gonna take the um, how you call it? the hypertube system down to the steel factory to get the rest of stuff most of those other stuff are produced on the steel factory just run across that loop I just came from. So we built yesterday, as you can see, I did went ahead and name all of them. I see coal power, steel factory, quartz and fuel, and explosives. And that's a rotor factory. So let's go down to the steel factory. much easier to travel this way than driving up now every minute okay, so we're gonna go upstairs now why my light turns off when we go through the hyper tube so the I could get the steel. Yeah, I should be able to get all of that upstairs. Good floor. Yep. Let's see if we can get 500 from this. I can get two. From that one. From this one, and maybe able to get 100 from somewhere else. Uh, much of this six, so wow, we may have to erode some of the other stuff we have on us. We have a hundred iron on us, that's weird. Sealing it, care of that. Uh, that should give us enough room. Um, give me a hundred. Hundred, that's. Yeah, we we'll go down there and get the rest. Whole thing at that bloody um truck station. Two hundred from here, so that's four hundred for boat steel and then how much of this we need a hundred that's uh, just two slots that's the hundred of the heavy modular frames you just have to get the remaining 100 for the steel beams and the remaining um 200 for the steel pipes which we already have so, oh my god i'm trapped in my snake web down here holy shit 
Uh, I might look into unlocking. Oh, any storage for steel. Stopped. Hello. Oh my god. Truck. Trying to run me over. We have to source the um. Give these steel beams a while to build back up. Let me run up to the. Uh. Quartz factory up here where the um. Not the quartz, the explosive factory. And pick up some of the pipes that run in to the main base. Uh, so this is the additional 200 pipes, so we have the 600, we just wait another two sec to get the uh, beams, 100 of the beams piled up in the, on the third floor of the steel factory. As you can see, all of our mines are running at full capacity. They're all empty at the moment. Oh, that's a coal truck. Back up to the third floor. I think we should have at least a hundred uh, steel in one of these. Um... Wait, I just remembered. Frick. We have other stuff that uses steel on the second floor that's probably full. God oh, damn it. Or not. Never mind. Five, come on. Forty-two. That's eighty. We just need twenty more. I could probably pick that off of the line or go and get it from the second floor. Which I'm probably gonna do. Just need ten more, approximately. There we go. All right, we can leave these guys to fall back up again. Alright, there's our, uh, all we need for that. Let's get out the front of this, oh my god, maze of a factory, which I have to redo. Alright, and back to the hyperloop. Bye bye. Leave the factory. Alright, so we have enough stuff to unlock trains. Yes. I don't know about building trains, but why the frick am I passing here? I don't know about building the train tracks yet. I haven't even sorted out where I'm going to build them. But we have enough to unlock them, and then we'd sort out where we're going to actually utilize trains for. I think I already have an idea of where. Alright. And here's the pipes. There we go, Last we have trees. 
A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. So the train track that I'm planning, let's go to the map so I can kind of def out of fuel. Okay. There's a there's a there's a Oh, it's up by the um It's up by the quartz fuel factory. Oh my lord, wrong way. Yeah, so the trains are based on how I have stuff set up it one sec. Very loud. Uh based on how I have things set up the trains are gonna run from for the sulfur and the quartz, even though we're not really using that right now. Because the sulfur and the quartz are the furthest away, and they both are in generally the same area. So they could run from one train instead of two trucks or tractors. Uh, where's this vehicle now? Okay, it's down here. I'm all just because out of here. There you go. Yeah, so that's gonna replace all the tractors that we have running on that line. Those two almost hit. Which would uh, decrease the amount of fuel we consume via the tractors and increase the amount of power we use. As the train tracks would need power. Alright, so let's see the loadout of how this is going to happen. So as you can see I have two beacons. So we have the quartz up here. And then we have the sulfur there. We could run a train line. Uh, just load this up. So the quartz is up, foot up that direction, sulfur is there. And the quartz and sulfur are literally right next to each other. Quartz and sulfur right there. So instead of having quartz and sulfur right next to each other here, we could in turn have one line that sends the train up to the quartz picks up the quartz on one of the crates then it stops at the um, sulfur mine picks up sulfur on another crate and then comes here and empty both of them at the same time instead of having two tractors running up this line here so I think that's the plan we're gonna replace that whole infrastructure once we have everything uh, that's the only resources we're transporting from a long distance that is wood using the train for I don't any oil but oil is running through a very long pipeline so we don't necessarily need to transport that uh, that's the desert area I explored when I got the explorer so yeah let's see how much it's gonna take and what we need to build a train system Because, oh my god though. Now well, we have computers, that's not gonna be an issue. Uh huh. What I see that's probably going to be an issue here is...
is the trucks. That's the only thing I can think of that's probably going to be an issue. The stations are not going to be the issue. The, the only trucks are going to be an issue because that's going to require me to have a uh, boat steel pipes and steel well we have steel pipes that's not the issue the issue right now is steel um beams even though we are producing a lot of steel beams they're currently being used as fast as they've been produced by the um heavy modular frame factory and the uh what's the other one the volatile frameworks are both using the steel beams right now so yeah But we can actually set up the stations. I'm thinking I'm gonna set up one here. I need computers for the main. I need a bit more computers, so I'll run to the main base together. I'm just gonna jump in the hyper. You can get that and come back. I'm gonna set it up in the corner there and just run. Uh, of across conveyors across to where it needs to go to I don't want to start building it and interfere with the already existing um framework that I set up for anything else Oh, on the note, I finally figured out why my uh, game audio was so soft. So good ads. Apparently, as I use the same um, profile for OBS, in OBS for my uh, recording and streaming, I do load on my game audio a little bit, like about 20 decibels when I'm streaming so yeah apparently 20 decibels is too low for Bushricon. I might either raise that up or raise up the uh, volume of my game song in the game uh, while we're on that topic uh, what did I come here for oh computers right. wrong way yeah Okay, let's run over here, get the about a hundred computers which we do have. And we're gonna sort out where the three stations are gonna go. Uh we probably leave the game running for a while. Next episode we'd be focusing on running the actual tracks. Which is gonna be a bother because hopefully by next episode we have enough to run a decent amount of tracks. Why am I going there? I have no idea. Uh, and hopefully we have enough computers to get the main stuff built. And what is computers lacking? Because for some reason it's not producing as fast as I thought it was. Before I go down, let me see if it's lacking anything other than being... Uh, yeah, it's lacking the usual plastics. Infamous plastics. Let's just put it out there. Very infamous plastics. I did have an abundance of plastics, but then... Yeah, the whole rework of everything kind of made it harder. This is filling up with rotors. Right, let's head over to the coach factory. What's your factory, I should say? 
because there is the fuel power plant and the coach factory and the explosive owl explosive factory at the same time that's the coach truck factory is that yeah this is a coach factory here the coach drop off as you can see uh that's the explosive factory and if you will Factory is that big giant fuel for power plant area for us there. And this lonely truck that I just left here for no reason. Hmm. Where are we gonna set this up? I do have a truck passing here, so I might set everything up in the corner here. Huh. So we're gonna need a tree. Oh my god, I don't have cables. I kind of do, but oh my god. I'm gonna think of this. The cable drop off is right there for the quartz factory. It's gonna take from there. One judge should be good enough. Let's. Put it in a truck. So we're gonna need three truck stations. It's a three, not two. Three. We're gonna need four platforms. Eight platforms. We're gonna need. Two empty platforms, we want to leave it with catwalk so I can always monitor stuff. And that's what we're gonna need. So we have to go get concrete and heavy modular frames. Which is somewhat easy. Get concrete on the same floor as the heavy modular frames. Alright, so let's just run and do this. Uh, as I said earlier on, next episode we'll be focusing on getting the tracks for the three train stations as we're going to set up this episode. Next episode we're going to focus on getting the tracks set up. We have to give the game a bit of time to give us some steel beams. Oh my god, it's so loud. this one you guys missed out the episode where I fully went over and built over everything in this area uh, that would be episode 20 I'm right on my numbers it should be episode 20 or 21 where I optimize fully overall day steel production there's still not enough to supply four assemblers with steel but whatever Oh my god, I don't have concrete down here. Freaking hell, man. Well, I still have to come up here anyway for the heavy modular frames. Thought I would at least get concrete down here. How much we need? If they should do it. Uh, I have a standalone concrete factory at the main base, so I'm just gonna run, jump in the hype group. Hyper tube, whatever you want to call it. And. Oh my god. I'm bad in. And get to the main base, pick up the concrete. Which is actually right below the hub for the Hyperloop. up the concrete and then we'll go back and we're gonna use our explorer a good bit i wonder where did i where did i park my explorer i think i put oh yeah it's up there never mind i found it explorer is at the hub yeah that's the um concrete right under Oops. oh my god that way get out of the hype tube please mean to re-enter 
Alright, so there's this concrete right here. The personal use concrete storage. Alright, so we have everything to set up the four stations. Uh, I haven't dealt with trains in a while. So I'm not sure if you have to... And I know there, know there's a, there was a big update to how the trains function. Uh, was it update 5? No, then what was, that was... Yeah, that was update 5. It was already implemented with the train signals and stuff. So then first we're gonna set up the two stations at the where there's a waypoint and then we're gonna come back to the main base and set up the remaining truck station. So first we're gonna go to the courts, which is the furthest point away. Hmm, good job. is going to be the offloading station. But for unloading one time. Unload. This is where all the puts and sulfur is gonna come from. That's our food for some we yeah, have enough to actually just put down a train for a placeholder for thumbnail. It's gonna be where the trains are gonna uh, start off from. Need motors, I should have enough. Uh, train and two freight car. Yeah, I should have enough. Start off camera. Alright guys, so that's basically what we did this episode. I probably have most of the building and run up and down time lapsed. But if you guys want to check out the whole behind the scenes unedited version of any of my satisfactory videos, you guys can get access to that on Patreon. Links down in the description. Uh, also, if you guys are uh, a recent change, didn't really mention that in the last couple of episodes, but recently I 
a sec, why this thing? I jump into this. Alright, so yeah, recently, guys, shop on Amazon. There is now an Amazon affiliate link down in the description, so you guys can support the channel while doing your Christmas shopping. And I already see an issue with two trucks blocking each other's movement. That will be fixed. Later on. Um, I did come back here for the pipes and the motors. Oh my! Really? Really? I did not ask to go to the quartz factory. I know I have motors and I have pipes right in the same building that I'm heading to right now. But I have the pipes right there. But the motors are right in this line. Just need 10 so I can pull off the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Bye. And the pipes are right on. Let's see it. Um. You guys enjoy, oh my god, the, you guys enjoying the series so far, any suggestions on future, blood my, any suggestions on any future stuff added into the factory, what you guys suggest I should focus on for upcoming episodes, or improvements to anything in the factory. Oh, I suspect those tractors are uh, blocking each other for some reason. Is that all for Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. If we run across the courts, we will expose the factory. To set down the um, train. Which is going to be the place we'll learn until we run the tracks next episode. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the series. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And click that bell.